everybody and welcome to our sunset safari on well a good catter day it's a perfect start for catter day since we have the lions on the kill now my name is tristan and on camera today i've got senzo and remember this is a live interactive experience which means hashtags fire live on twitter or the youtube chat should you want to ask us any questions or if you want to just let us know where you're watching from now the good news is the buffalo is still here the cats are still here those two that we've been seeing over the last 24 hours they're here but the best news of all is that it's not just one Birmingham this afternoon we have all four lying about the rest of them are behind me lying in some thickets we don't really have a visual of them now but I'm sure as the afternoon wears on so they will meander in and start to feed off the carcass you can see the carcass is still full 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 they have hardly touched it during the night so the addition of the three boys that arrived here at about five six o'clock this morning means that I would imagine this evening there might be a little competition over the carcass so it's going to be a wonderful afternoon to spend with our Birmingham boys and our Inkuma lioness funny enough our Inkuma lioness only just arrived back she's been away the whole day they said this morning she left and she went towards the cubs and she's only just got back as we arrived here and so that's why she's tucking in and feeding so much it's also the conditions are absolutely perfect for a lioness to feed it's cool it's overcast there's no hot sun bearing down on this lioness she doesn't have to worry about the heat and so she can really get in stuck in and consume as much as possible and keep that nutrient level up for the milk that she's giving her cubs the positive sign is that she is leaving and going back which means those cubs seem to be absolutely fine and they will be getting probably having fat tummies along with their mother because as she eats like this she's going to be converting it into really good thick nutrient milk that's going to be able to be fed to the cubs and so when she goes back those little cubs will be benefiting from that and will be getting nice and full now i don't suspect that we will see her um, moving back towards the cubs anytime soon now that she's here i'm sure she's going to have a really good feed and if she's just come from suckling them then she knows that she can spend some time in this area so she's really going at the carcass she's going to get as much food as possible but look at the power that she's got even when she's on her back like that and she's pulling that carcass is moving and i can tell you from being near a buffalo carcass and trying to drag a carcass it is very very difficult these buffalo are heavy animals and dead weight like that is just insane so to watch these lions drag it around every now and then is just absolutely incredible you can see in suku in the background he's passed out at the moment he's really not interested in what's going on he's tired sleepy He's walking fine though, which is the good news. So for those of you that were worried about him yesterday when he was limping, this afternoon he got up and he walked over to the grass where he is now and there was no discernible limp at all. So he's looking okay. There's the wound that we were talking about just under the armpit. And it's not going to be a very nice place to have a wound. It's going to rub a bit raw as he walks around and probably get a bit irritated, but he should be okay. Like I say, there's no sign of any injury to the leg itself. And so just like the Nguma female with her hole in her tummy, it's just about time and waiting for it to heal but you can actually hear her breathing isn't that cool it's amazing to actually hear her now I'm not the only one out here on this beautiful cat day there is another member of our team the one who's got a bad back and now we've decided we're going to call him Brokeback Byron from now on so let's go across to him so he can say hello <laughs> 